Hello everyone, I want to talk to you about the scramble for Africa that many individuals are unaware of, but I think it's important for me to share that content with you and to set it in context as it relates to where Africa is now and what happened in the past. Just imagine you are the owner of a big property. For example, your family members are all on this property and your ancestors had left the land before so that you could enjoy it. It was so much land that you could not even travel to the end of each section of that land throughout your lifetime. The land would be passed on to the next generation. However, another set of people residing in other countries decided that they would divide your land and your land would be divided among them. You did not know about such a division. Well, in our context today, we might say that it's an issue of human rights and it would be an issue of social justice. However, these individuals were white Europeans who decided that the continent of Africa should be divided among themselves. The scramble for Africa was also called the partition of Africa, the conquest of Africa or the rape of Africa. It was the invasion, occupation, division and colonization of African territories by European powers. In short, they came and they conquered Africa using their new imperialism between 1881 and 1914. The European motives included a desire to control the valuable resources of the African community. The European colonization and trade in Africa was regulated by the Berlin Conference in 1884 and started the point for the scramble of Africa. The Berlin Conference set the stage for the regulation of European countries and the trade in Africa, which is usually referred to as the starting point of the scramble of Africa. It should be noted that the Berlin Conference did not initiate the starting point for colonization in Africa, but formulated the process. This scramble and partition of Africa was not designed to enhance the lives of Africans, but to take control of the continent and the continent's resources and natural supplies of minerals and so forth. The reality is the partition of Africa was designed to prevent European countries from going into war among themselves to secure a portion of Africa, which they would call their own. And we can see the various maps and their names that are highlighted in this segment here. The reality is white men across Europe sat around the table in Berlin in 1884 to subdivide portions of Africa. The reality again is that they did not invite a single black man to the conference to determine the future of the entire continent. Remember, these individuals, the black men and women, or the inhabitants of this continent. From this meeting, the colonization of Africa was now operationalized, which would see the degradation of Africa and its wealth. Can you consider another country or continent that has been exploited by colonization in such a way? I'm sure we can come up with many. On reflection, these countries that have colonized others did not go there to empower the people but to extract the wealth from their society. I want to say that's my critical reflection and I have some further thoughts that I'll share with you 